Hey there guys, Flooding Mine 14. And we're back with some more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Forbidden Memories. Alright, well I plan to do some uh, grinding in this episode for a better card, so let's just get into it. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I love playing this game. It's so fun. Alright. Let's see. We have first turn here. Uh, this might be a new fusion for us. Let's try it. I don't know if this will work or not, but... Oh, no, it doesn't, does it? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think we've, we've played that fusion yet in this game, but uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I might need a stronger wing beast, though. Uh, turtle. Hmm. It has been... Um, Quite a while since I played some of this though, so if we have some fusion fails or whatever, not a big deal. Alright. Oh, we got the Guardian Star. I guess I should have showed it. Yo! That was bad. Let me try to get Yo! That was better. <laughs> I didn't even know that monster was in this game. Uh... Okay, okay. Sorry, I was just checking the button. Uh, we got a female here. Well, I can infuse, um... I can put this on my wolf to make, uh... Flower wolf, yeah. Yeah! Let's just go with, uh, sun. Alright. And we'll have pumpkin attack here. Um, I'll tell you what. We're gonna try to, um... I'm gonna try to... If I get any new fusions, you know, I'll show the animation. But in this grind episode in particular, I don't know why. I decided, you know, this just now. But let's try to get through as many duels as possible, as far as this episode goes. So, ooh, beat it by 50. Gruesome goo. Okay. Yeah, so I'll show, like, new animations if, uh... If it's a monster that I can think of that has an attack, I will show the animation, but if not, we'll just try to get through some duels here, so. Um, okay. Uh, this might be a new fusion. Have I showed this before? Immortal of Thunder? I think I have, but uh, eh. We'll show it again, just to be safe. Stone Armadillo. I wouldn't mind winning that card from you, Builder. We're playing Builder 3, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Today is actually May 24th, 2023. Yeah, I'm actually really, really, really far ahead on uh, Forbidden Memories. Uh, the time is uh, 1.20 in the morning. Uh, but I just really wanted to play some more of this. What's he doing? Oh, a lightning dance, huh? That's pretty cool. Whoa. He used Thunderbolt, but he went about it in a different way. He kind of did like a little dance there. All right, Immortal of Thunder. I see you. Not bad. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of weird seeing this thing without an effect. Uh... <laughs> Especially since I've been playing some other Yu-Gi-Oh games here recently, but uh, let's read it. A creature that attacks enemies with thunderbolts. Well, can't deny that. That's what just happened. So he just kind of spun right round, right round, right round. All right. But uh, of course, I'm hoping to get some good, uh, you know, some more dragons and thunders, and if nothing else, some more uh, star chips in today's recording session. Got it. That's actually a really good card. Got us with the third eyes, a female card. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I meant to show it um, in one of the episodes, but when you win here, you can kind of come over here and see your stats. Uh, average attack factor, yeah, um, kind of interesting. Card destruction, like uh, this screen will show some stuff. It'll, it'll say uh, the number of turns up there, yeah. And it'll show like your combo plays, I think that means fusion plays. Uh, yeah, initiate fusion, oh, I guess that's that. Equip magic. Trigger Trap, Pure Magic. Yeah, so there's some things you can show, but, uh, yeah, guys with the third eye, that's a pretty good drop. All right, Villagers, what do you think? You, um, we'll gladly put that in the deck, uh, for someone. Yeah, because this is a good female card. A goddess with an all-seeing eye that reveals all. Pretty good card, yeah. Um, and, uh, would definitely help us with some fusions. So let's go by types here. Let's see what we're working with. 
Um, I think the dark spellcaster should be one. This is a fire as well. Uh, is this a dark spellcaster? Yeah, because these work with our jar fusions. Um, what should I start taking out of this deck? Hmm. Good question. Uh, I could just... Hmm. Well, you know what? Um, what should I start taking out? Uh, as much as I don't want to... The, um... We've got two lines of fusions that are... Mm, that are gonna eventually be considered underpowered. So we've got, um, the zombies, and we've got the machines as well. How many zombies do I have? Only three in the deck? Well, I tell you what, let's start taking out some of the zombies, as much as I don't want to. You know, eventually we do have to focus on something here, so let's take away Wandering Doom. Let's go with Goddess here. So eventually, yeah, I will take out all the zombies in this deck. Although, I think the Fire Reaper one does count as a fire, so maybe we'll leave him, but, uh... Basically, the the final power level we can get our zombies up to in this deck is about, uh... We'll go with Mystical Sand here first turn. Is about 2,000, you know, so... Um... Yeah, as far as... But, like, with the rocks and stuff, I mean, we can get Stone D 2,300 defense and Mystical Sand 2,100, so... Um, I could make a, um, a Spike Seedra, <laughs> but that's really no point doing that when we can make a Bee Dragon Jungle King. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm ultimately thinking, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, get rid of some of the zombies for now. Also, as far as the machines, I guess we can get Machine Dragon, or, I'm sorry, Metal Dragon, which is like 1850. But as far as the power of our machines, yeah, the ultimate power of our machines isn't too high either. You know what? Let me try this. Let me try. Because I've been wanting to see if we can fuse into Rose Spectre of Dunn. No. Hmm. Maybe I'll take out Tainted Wisdom eventually as well. Uh, I mean, but 1250 is, you know, kind of decent, honestly, at this point of the game. So, oh, we got a Guardian Star there. I wouldn't even pay attention. Yeah, 1250 is still, eh, still kind of decent, you know. Uh, in fact, the 1200 we got from Goddess of the Third Eye, that itself is pretty good, so we'll just, yeah, we'll go with that for now. Um, okay, let's see, we can make the Flame Turtle. Oh, no, wait, have I showed this monster yet? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, Flame Sword, and then he... All right. Flame Swordsman attack. Flame and Sword Battle. We'll show Flame Swordsman. He's just cool. <laughs> Classic Joey card. You know, you gotta show the iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know? And, um... Uh, an exception to the rule I just said. Also, if I need a drink, we're gonna show the battle. And I, I happen to need a drink right now, so... <laughs> Hologra looks pretty funny there. What you gonna do, Flame Swordsman? Oh, dude! Salamandra Flame Strike attack. <laughs> That's cool. And now I play the magic card Salamandra. And this powers up any monster with a fire based blade by 700. Yeah, show him, Flame Swordsman. Show him who's boss. That looked pretty cool. I'm not sure if I've shown both animations, but I, I, I had fun seeing that. So, all right. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, you win. Let's see what we get here from Villager 3. Let's see. What remains? Okay, yeah. That is a better zombie than some of our other ones, so well, maybe I'll switch it out. Because you can get into Pumpkin directly. You don't have to double fuse with Wood Remains. Um, let's see what's in our deck here. So the only zombies we have left... Oh, just Fire Reaper and Wood Remains. And this does count as a fire, so... Ah, nah, well, we'll just keep the deck the same. So, Alright, and we're not going for tech rankings in this recording session either. We're just going to go for S-Pals. S pals and A pals. Okay, we got we got it. We we got our spirit card. All right, so machine and little D. Let's use the most of this fusion while we can before I get get it out of my deck. Go metal gray mine. Yeah. 
I love Cyber Source. But as much as I love Cyber Source and Metal Dragon, they're going to be sorely, sorely, you know, uh, underpowered here, you know, relatively shortly. So, well, actually, I have Flame Manipulator here. So, let's see if this works. Flame Manipulator and Wolf. Do we get Fluffy? Fluffy. Nice. All right, we'll go with Pluto. Uh, nope. Bad Guardian Star. I guess we'll attack with Fluffy. Eh, we could have attacked with the other, but, you know, never hurts to be safe. Yeah. Could have been a monster with, like, 1,500 defense. Then we couldn't have gotten over it, you know? Da -da -da -da. Man, we're getting a lot of fire cards this duel. Uh, I wonder if fires go with a dino. That's something I really haven't tried, but you know what? Let's try it. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, we got Pluto, right? Yeah. Guardian Star, baby. Brew water? See ya. Alright. There we go. Yeah, so I plan to record like, eh, like maybe two episodes tonight. And then we're gonna record some more Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. That's what I got going for tonight. Oh, we drew another fire card. Now, this is interesting. This technically does count as a fire. So if I fuse it with this, I wonder if it'll make Flame Swordsman or um, Zombie Warrior. This is actually pretty important to test right now. So, you know what? Just in case I'm wrong, let's fuse it with a plan. Just in case I'm wrong. It is... Zombie Warrior. Okay, see, that's good to know. That's definitely good to know now before I'm, like, in a pinch. And it's like, oh, man, I need Flame Swordsman. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So, um, the Fire Reaper, he'll make, uh, if you use a Warrior, he will not make Flame Swordsman. He will make, um, he will make Zombie Warrior. That is good to know. He'll make the underpowered version. That's good to know. Wing Dragon number two. Hmm, now is that actually a dragon? Or, I don't know. Uh, let's just play Rex for now. Well, we're getting some pretty powerful cards, though, at least, it seems, today. Uh, yeah, this, if nothing else, this is 1,200 attacks, so... I don't think it counts as a dragon. I think Wing Dragon number one. Guardian of the Fortress number one counts as a dragon. But I think we can take out that droll bird that I tried earlier that failed. Yeah, maybe if I use this with uh, the wolf, maybe then we'll make a, a new fusion in this deck. Yeah, maybe since it has 1,200 attack, it'll work. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try, guys. Okay, so we got some stuff here. Uh, man, we don't really have much here. Yeah, we don't have much at all. Let's just dump a couple of these uh, spellcasters, shall we? All right, at least flame manipulators, manipulators got good defense. Let's see what Rex has. Yeah, he probably has something pretty good. He's got some good dinos. So. Oh, defense mode. Well, I like to see that. Hey, hey, look who's here. I swear, man, we get really good luck as far as cyber source in this game. Oh, man. Scale Angel. Oh, we tied. I see. Should I attack directly? No, no. I want to try to get an S-Pal, so I don't want to take any damage. So. Well, that worked out. Okay. And we got Fire Reaper. Well, if nothing else, I can make uh, the... No, no, no. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make the Turtle Fusion. Yeah! Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Um... I haven't shown both of this card's animations. Ooh, okay, never mind. We'll tackle Cybersaurus. Penguin Soldier, okay, okay. I did that just to be safe with the Guardian Star. Gor Giant Turtle, we'll show your animation next turn, buddy. All right, unless he beats me. Okay, no. Uh, we got Raijiki, that's good. Um, let's just go with, let's just set Raijiki. I don't plan to activate it, but, you know. Okay, Giant Turtle. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Last time I was Penguin Soldier, so... Hito... Hitoden check. Yeah, it's a relatively weak card. I just really want to see my animation, man. All right. That's a nice... 
nice roar, giant turtle. Oh, look, it's Starmie. Not really, though. Starmie looks way cooler than Hitoden Jack. What you got, Gora Turtle? Oh, Tail Whip Attack, huh? Yeah, that's a Tail Whip that does damage right there, man. Yeah, show them what you got, Gora Giant Turtle. Yeah, use that withdraw and rapid spin. Aw, oh, yeah. The ultimate Squirtle combo, baby. Nexus Hydro Pump. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Okay, so that was his uh, Mars. That was his Mars attack. Okay. I'll try to remember to show uh, Giant Turtle's Neptune attack. Because I don't think we've shown both. So. What you got, Rex? You got nothing, man. You got nothing. Montagna. Mountain. Let's see. So I've got a fire. Eh, we don't have much here. I'll go with Little D. I'm comfortable attacking with Little D. Oh, and we got the Guardian Star. Even better. See ya, Hourglass of Life. Okay. Giant Turtle. Uh, we might only get an A or a B here, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll end the turn. You got one more turn, Rex. Oh, and he didn't damage us. Good. Uh, we'll go with Two Mouth Dark Roller. Sure. Moon. Okay, just checking for any stars here. Oh, we got the Guardian Star, nice. Winged Cleaver. <laughs> All right. All right, we win. All right, we're up to 133. I think we can go for about 12 more minutes or so. You win. What do we get, Rex? Ah, ah, aka, ketsu. Aka, ki, e. Itsu. I think that's like a spellcaster monster. Let's go against. Actually, let's save here real quick before I forget. Yeah, let's save. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many star chips we're up to, by the way. 47? Hmm, that's a decent amount. Um, In between episodes, I may check here. Let's see uh, what cards we can get. Okay, so let's go with Jono. Jono. I'm hoping to get Time Wizard from Jono here. Uh, Akiketsu. Yeah, that's not bad. A thousand. A wizard whose incantations numb the senses of the opposing monsters. That sounds painful. Um, do we have any weaker dark spellcasters? Uh, yeah, Curtain of the Dark Ones is relatively weak. Um... Let me just double check. This is a dark spellcaster, yeah? Okay, I think Akiketsu will still work with the jar fusions. So we'll try it. We'll try it. And if it doesn't work, we'll just swi switch back to Curtain of the Dark Woods. So, yeah. All right. Oh, we got the machine. All we need is a dino. Ooh, not much here. Not much at all. Um, let's just... Let's throw these two down. Yeah, I didn't think they would fuse, but uh, I'm going to draw two cards next turn. Okay, Jono. Looks like you've got a free shot at my monster. Oh, he's going to attack. Oh, Magician of Fate with the Guardian Star. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day. Okay, so we got the, the Winged Beast. That's pretty good. I guess we'll just throw this out there for now. Yeah. Have we ever seen this monster attack? I don't think so, so. You know what? Winged Dragon Guardian Fortress number two, you're up. We get to see your animation for the first time. Are you gonna use like Gust or Wing Attack? Maybe he'll use the Fireball attack. Or maybe number one has that attack. Nice roar, nice. All right, Winged Dragon, show them what you get. Oh, just headbutt attack, huh? Well, I guess, you know, physical, physical attacks work too. Hmm. Interesting. All righty, Winged Dragon. All righty. Hmm. I wonder, so that was the Saturn attack. I wonder what the Neptune one looks like. Yeah, we'll eventually see it at some point of this LP, I'm sure. 
All right, defense mode. That's what I like to see, Jono. Okay, there we go. So we got a jar and this should make Ushioni. Oh yeah, he's here. Okay, wing dragon go. Key mace. Jar. Um, we'll keep the jar. We'll go with uh, mystical sand here. Yeah. All right. Let's go with Mercury. Uh, Winged Dragon seems to be strong enough, so let's just. Oh yeah. Another magician update. Okay. No problem. Ushioni, get him. <laughs> yeah. Use that special beam thunder cannon attack. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jono. Like we've got you in this one, buddy. Okay, oh, and there it is. Okay, well, I do need to test this anyway. So let's see if this makes Ushioni. Oh, and I was right, though. We did ultimately get the dino for the Cyber so that's funny. Does this work? It does. Into Ushioni. Good, good, good. All right, so um, Aki Ketsu, or whatever it's called, it looks like it's here to stay. It's a more powerful Curtain of the Dark Ones, so, and it does work with our, uh, our jar fusions, so that's good. Good to know, good to know. All right, we're probably only got an A, because Jono did beat one of our monsters, so let's see what we get here. <gasps> yes! And that's what we want to see, boys and girls. Yamatano Dragon Scroll. S rank. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That's what we're here for in the grinding episodes. Nice. Another dragon. So, uh, let's just go against Rex here. Nice, nice. Thank you, Jono. Thank you. Yeah, and I'll just show you guys that card here. We already have it in our deck, but yeah. This dragon is conjured from a picture scroll to attack enemies as a pretty low defense vector. So yeah, we started with one of these in our deck. Um, and what do we want to take out for this? Well, like I said, let's keep taking out the zombies. So we'll leave Fire Reaper, because he's a fire, and we'll say goodbye to Wood Remains. You know, sad to see you go, but we can still make Pumpkin if we just really, really, really want to. But that's what we want to see, dragons and the nurse. Thank you, Jonah. Okay, and we're at about like 140. We should have time for like one more duel here, and then we'll end the episode. Uh, we'll go with Tainted Wisdom, uh, face down attack mode. Okay, let's see what you got, Rex. Okay, he's not fusing, that's a good sign. Usually, a face down card. Hmm, interesting. We got some thunders here. Let's just go with Little D. Why not? Alright, Little D attack. He might have a trap. Oh no. Okay, okay. Well, then it. Uh, yeah, usually if they don't play a trap like that, it's usually like Dark Hole, Raigeki, or some kind of power up. So, uh, okay, okay, looks like we're good. Um, Laughing Flower. Uh, let's just keep on going. Yeah, Little D, you're up. Uh, attack. Nice. Okay. And see, this is why uh, we put the higher attack monsters in our deck. You see, like we haven't been able to fuse the school. But uh, 12, apparently 1250 and 1100 is enough, so, yeah. Looks like our grinding's paying off. Oh, there comes the power-up. Oh, okay, was, was that Ray's body beat? What was that? <laughs> but his basic insect still isn't strong enough, so... I'll show you how it's done, Rex. So I'll fuse this rock with this dragon, and we'll throw in a little thunder. And then we get Stone D, and for the first time in this episode, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh yeah, he's here. And I think Tainted Wisdom can beat this. Yeah, it can, by 50. Okay, Tainted Wisdom, we'll let you show your attack. <laughs> Just because I kind of want to see how Basic Insect looks in this game. <laughs> One of Weevil's, you know, signature cards. Yeah, I never really understood the exact rules of Duelist Kingdom. But somehow, this thing with, like, laser armor cannon was able to take out a two-headed King Rex, you know, in, um, Rex and Weevil's first duel, you know. Kind of crazy, but, uh, oh. Nice dark lightning attack. Good job, Tainted Wisdom. Great. <laughs> All right. 
such a silly looking card. All right, and we win here, little D. Get him, little D. All right, twin headed thunder dragon. Thunderbolt attack. All right. You win. What do we got? What do we got, Rex? Insect soldier of the sky? Um, that's an okay monster. Um, insects don't fuse with much, but I, oh, whoops, I did not mean to do another duel. Um, but, uh, yeah, insect soldiers that attack in swarms. I mean, I guess it does have a thousand attacks, so. Yeah, it's just insects don't fuse with too much, so. Well, whoops, I didn't mean to do this duel, but, uh, oh, we're at 142. You know what? Maybe we can get it in in time. Um, what do we got here? What do we got? So I can go Mystical Sand. Let's do it. Mystical Sand. First turn. All right. Saturn. Your turn, Rex. Yeah, I guess it is a thousand attack. You know, if you just want to... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I prefer stuff that can fuse, though. Ooh, we got the uh, Dragon Scroll. Okay, so we can go with B Dragon. General Key. Yeah. This is going well. We got a decent draw this time. All right, Mystical Sand. I won't show any animations, because uh, I think my phone is about to cut off here, so... Yeah, we'll just end the turn. But if nothing else, we got, like, quite a few duels done. Uh, we did get a dragon card, Yamatano Dragon, so... I would call this particular episode of writing a success. Uh, yeah. Another Mystical Sand, sure. Uh, Mercury for this one. Because this one's in Saturn, yeah? What the? Whoa, that was glitched out. Did you see that? It had it said Doron, but it had like the picture of um like Metafat, I think that was. I don't know. Rewind the video a few seconds and pause and check that out. That was, <laughs> that was interesting. I'll probably be showing like all picture glitches in this game as well. Okay. So we'll just do this. Yeah, that was that was pretty weird. Feel free to rewind and check that out, but uh Jungle King, get him. Fire Eye. I didn't notice the Guardian Star. That's my bad. I was just trying to finish quick. All right, Mystical Sand. Wow, and we got that one in. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Rex. Please don't give us an insect this time, buddy. Did we still get an X? We did. Uh, Vishwar Randy. That's an interesting card. I think it's a fiend, no? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Vishwar Randy. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. A uh, woman warrior that serves the forces of darkness. I remember this card. Hmm. Well, oh, actually, it is a female card. I just realized it is a female card. And a warrior. Um, let's go to our deck. Let's change this out real quick. Let's go down to our warriors. We like Masaki because he's. Yeah, if nothing else, it's a more powerful Queen's double. Uh, but I could just swap it out for something else since it is a female. And I did say I want to start getting rid of the Dino Fusions too. So, and we're out of the zombies, right? Right, all we got is Fire Eye. So, you know what? I hate to do it to you, but Two Mouth Dark Ruler. Wait, we only have one machine in this deck? Dude, we do. How do we keep drawing the Cyber Zars combo if we only got one machine? That's crazy. That's like crazy good luck. Um, but yeah, we'll swap out for Vishwar Randy because females fuse up quite a lot in her deck. So that was a good card. Thanks, Rex. I just realized, yeah, she is a female monster. So hey, appreciate it. Okay, but we'll save there, guys. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, yeah. I'm going to take a little break, move this to my uh, laptop, and I will see you guys here in a little bit for the next episode. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.